Today's review is brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. We're taking a look at the Samsung HT-E4500. We're going to review the specifications and some of the features built into this brand new unit from Samsung. Samsung has its MSRP listed at 290 bucks. We're going to take a look at some of the features that Samsung highlights on this unit and we're going to start with the fact that uh, Samsung lists it as a smart home theater which means you're going to have ac access to applications which we'll expand on a little farther along in the video. Also this is a 3D Blu-ray player so you're going to be able to enjoy high definition Blu-ray disc players uh, that are in 3D. And also, Samsung highlights this called All Share Play, which allows you to share some of your content between your compatible devices. A lot of times, you'll need to have a cloud storage account to take advantage of this particular feature. Now, we're going to slide over to the specifications here on the right. This is a 5.1 system. That is the correct number of speakers for Dolby 5.1 surround sound. 5 meaning that you have a center channel where the voices come from. You have the front pair and then you have the rear pair and of course you have your point one, which is your subwoofer. Now this Samsung unit outputs a total of a thousand watts which is going to be completely plenty of power for you to enjoy at the highest volumes. You probably won't turn it up that loud. Looking here a little bit at the connectivity options which we're going to look at the back connection panel However, there is an audio input, there's a composite video output which has uh, some limited uses, but it is there. Of course, it has the ever popular HDMI output which goes straight up to your television and makes sure that you're enjoying the very highest quality, most sharp picture available. You can connect your iPod or iPhone to this unit. There's a connection on the front, we'll take a look at that. The uh, optical input is a digital audio input. So here is a analog audio input and here's a digital input. You'd want to use this uh, for better sound quality. You can connect this to the internet. Again, when we look at the back connection panel, we'll look at those options. It is wireless ready, so to speak. You have to purchase an additional optional adapter for it to go uh, available onto your Wi-Fi network. Otherwise, you've got to make a hardwired connection. All right, we went in to take a look at the front and rear panel, the front panel here on the top. Of course, the disc tray is here on the left. Uh, in the front here is a remote control uh, receiver window. You can't necessarily see this, but that's where it's located on the device. That's how your remote control operates. And then they have a display and some function buttons, including the volume button, volume up and down. I mentioned earlier that you can plug your iPhone or your iPod into this, and you can do that with the iPhone uh, USB cable that goes right here. Now we're going to take a look at the rear connection panel on this. Of course, it has a built-in cooling fan with a note right down here. Make sure you leave some clearance all the way around this thing so that cooling fan can let the heat that builds up uh, get away from the unit because if it doesn't you'll wind up ruining the equipment. Now uh, taking a closer look here are six speaker connections and I use the word speaker a little loosely because the subwoofer is actually a subwoofer as opposed to a speaker. But again it's a 5.1 system so we have a total of six connections here. The speakers themselves have wires already attached to them. You do not have to make a special attachment of the speaker wires to the speaker. All you have to do, and Samsung's created this little ingenious uh, hookup thing, is just match the speaker plug and plug it in right there. No wires to strip, uh, nothing technical, very easy to set up for practically anybody. Now we're going to slide over here. This is a LAN terminal. This is where you would plug your Samsung uh, unit into your existing uh, internet router access. Now if you don't have a hardwired connection point at the location that you want to install this Samsung home theater you can purchase an optional wireless it's called a dongle and you would plug it into this jack right here and that would allow you to view uh, things via Wi-Fi. Now my preference is that I use a hardwire connection because it is faster, it, the data transmission is faster and it's more stable 
whereas Wi-Fi, depending on how old your router is and what the distance between your router and this Samsung box uh, will be and what type of obstructions and other wireless signals you have in your house all of those things will affect the Wi-Fi signal you know if you decide you need to go with Wi-Fi chances are you're going to be extremely happy with the performance but occasionally if you're using one of the built-in applications uh, such as Netflix to stream content you know you might experience some buffering where the video content will pause for a moment while this device uh, brings it buffers it into it and then it'll restart but that usually goes away when you do a hardwired connection alright a little more than you probably wanted to know of course there's an HDMI output this is a wire that connects from this jack goes all the way up to your television to an HDMI input it's video it's audio it's the best cable you can get uh, you can purchase that anywhere online or at a local retailer I mentioned earlier about the auxiliary inputs here is an analog red and white RCA input so you can take this from a CD player if you happen to have one or a set-top box from let's say your cable company or your satellite company or you know if you've got UVerse you could connect that there but the preferred method of connection if it's available on your current equipment would be digital optical now if you don't know what this cable looks like visit our website look for digital optical there's a photograph talks to you about it um, this is the best way to go but this always works and of course with this unit you get an FM antenna and you can uh, hook up a video output right here so if you've got like a camera that's compatible with the system and you want to watch it you can do it through that video output but don't be too worried about that that's that's dated technology that's only about 400 lines of resolution that's really standard definition and it's gonna look pretty poor on a large screen TV I want to touch briefly on some of the applications that you can experience once you get this connected to your current active internet service. One of the ones I like is Pandora. This is where you can go in and create your own custom radio station. So if you like country music, you can go in and type country music and Pandora will automatically set up your own personalized country music station. If you like rock and roll, you can do the same. If you like classical, they have all different genres and they have them from a lot of countries around the world. A massive selection. Pandora is a really great application to have. Of course, YouTube, which you're watching right now, you can watch that on through your uh, smart home theater system. And another one called Hulu, which is a subscription-based service that allows you to look at some current television programming. Not all of it, uh, but most of it, or a lot of it, and movies as well. And then a few others here, MLB TV, which you can look at Major League Baseball. It's a subscription-based service. It costs you extra, but it allows you to see virtually all Major League Baseball games in real time, and in some cases, in many cases, in high definition. You'd really want to have that hardwired internet connection for this particular service to stream. Of course Netflix, who doesn't know about Netflix? Popular movie subsite, it's a subscription site, it's roughly 10 bucks per month, but that's just a quick highlight of some of the applications available to you. Hey, if you like this review or you found the information useful, we appreciate your subscription to our channel. Of course, you can visit our Facebook fan page, like us there, get some information out to your friends and neighbors. One more time, Samsung has this unit priced at actually $289.99, uh, 290 bucks. And what you get is you get the Blu-ray player with the smart internet connection, the center channel. You get a left front, left rear, right front, right rear, and you get a subwoofer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.